Lucas. Why do you think that uh, the UK Youth Parliament's House of Commons sitting is particularly important? Um, I think it's hugely symbolic to bring young people into the heart of our democracy, into the House of Commons chamber, to demonstrate to them that Parliament wants to listen to them, to demonstrate to them that they have a voice. And you know, you know, Parliament is very keen to reach out and talk to people about why Parliament matters and why democracy matters. And a key audience for us is young people, for I think very obvious reasons. So to bring those young people in to work with the British Youth Council and the UK Youth Parliament and bring them into the, the heart of our democracy, put them on the green benches, is an amazing thing that we are incredibly proud to do. And I think is why wouldn't we do it? It's brilliant. Okay. Um, out, uh, obviously, you've seen all five debates. Um, what, which debate for you stood out most, apart from obviously a curriculum for life, which became <laughs> obviously our, our national campaign? Um, gosh, that's a really hard question to answer. <laughs> I think the the debate on um, same-sex marriage um, was, I think, the young people incredibly responsible in their approach to what is a very sensitive and quite, at, at times, difficult subject to actually debate. And I felt that they treated it with a great deal of respect and responsibility and maturity, which to me, I think, just again demonstrated the you know how fantastic the quality and level of debate is that's happening in here. Having just heard the minister. Uh, what, welcome the previous Youth Select Committee report and look forward to the next one. I think for me what's incredibly exciting about that particular um, dynamic so to speak is that, that there is a very clear a decision that the you, the UK Youth Parliament, have made in the chamber, that, that now forms the basis of a Youth Select Committee inquiry that the House of Commons helped make happen. So to me, from, from where I'm sat inside the House of Commons, that is a very strong message and it's a strong mechanism whereby you can take the subject that you've decided is important and actually conduct an inquiry on it and then get a formal response from the government. You can call witnesses, you have the support of the House of Commons Committee Service. That for me is a, is a really fantastic path in terms of how you can make a difference. Yeah, exactly exactly what I meant. Uh, um, and do you have any other comments about the day that you feel stuck out for you? Or maybe a, a particular speech? It's almost unfair to pick on anyone in particular. I mean, there were some incredibly passionate and... I mean, as, as an adult, I think if I went in there and stood up in front of 300 people, you know, I'd do a bit of public speaking, but I think I'd be damn sight more nervous than those young people. I don't think I'd speak as well. And I think I'm just... In, uh, uh, every year I'm amazed at the confidence and the quality of the, of the public speaking. And I think, for me, it bodes well for the future, because the, those young people are potentially future members of parliament or people who are uh, potentially active in politics in the future. And you look at the quality of that, and I think it can only fill you with, you know, uh, hope and uh, reassurance, really. From, from our perspective, the UK Youth Parliament debate is almost a highlight of the one of the highlights of Parliament Week, which is a new initiative that we've run in the last couple of years. And you know, we had uh, BBC Question Time here last night, and having UK Youth Parliament in today. These are these are big events that are bringing in large audiences to help them understand how Parliament works and how the democracy works. So we're we are delighted that this sits very much at the heart of Parliament Week.